Hey guys, it's Bryce Valley. We're out here at Kawea um, testing the all new 2018 KX250F. Um, they, 17 was a big year for them. They had an all new bodywork, basically a redesigned 250F. Um, for 18, they did some upgrades in the engine and the suspension. For 2018, we have a new Showa piggyback shock settings. The exhaust head pipe is longer and wider. Uh, air boot is improved shape with uh, airflow, a little bit smaller actually in length and gives it increased power. Uh, throttle body uh, has been adjusted for you know improved power and smooth response. Uh, new fuel injection angle, so it improves the imp uh, performance on that, You're getting a better spray. Um, we have a new show of fork settings with improved dampening to give it a better feel overall um, for the handling side. There's new ECU settings to match engine updates. Intake camshaft uh, is increased to advanced uh, valve timing. And then cylinder head design improves flow through the intake valve. So it's all new designed head. So I'm excited to get out there and uh, test it out and see how it feels. Hey guys, just got done testing the all new uh, 2018 KX250F out of here at Kawea Creek. Um, everything went great. Um, the uh, new adjustments that they did to this bike this year with the engine work and the um, suspension, uh, I noticed right away. Um, obviously 17 was a big year for them where they redesigned the, the uh, chassis and the body work and basically made a, a whole new bike. So. Um, add that with that engine and suspension work and uh, really it feels great out of the box so suspension wise um i set my sag at 102 um Kawea is a little bit faster uh hard pack kind of uh wide open track so i figured uh we would try that and ended up leaving it there all day it felt really well um the forks uh did feel like they were popping me up in the air occasionally so i went two clicks in on the rebound and after that the bike um, handled as good as you would want it to so i left the suspension there the rest of the day um, as for the feel of the bike uh, just the th the thinness of the chassis is really really nice when you're out there riding i mean you uh, feel like you have complete control of this bike you feel like you can throw it into sections maybe where you wouldn't on a, on a little other, some of the other bikes. Um, the uh, power was great with the new uh, airbox design, which uh, gives a little more mid and top end. So it's actually got a little bit straighter airbox uh, intake. So uh, I noticed that right away, you know, some of the bigger jumps out here, I had no problem clearing on the 250F and I'm a little bit bigger guy. 
um, as well as the mapping. So we, on the mapping, they have three couplers that are a plug and play. Um, black is the mellow setting for maybe some hard packed or a little bit more muddy. Um, then you have the green, which is your middle uh, mapping, which is more of your stock, everyone can ride. And then they have the white, which is the aggressive. And we ran the white all day and I loved it. Uh, has, you know, enough power to do everything and feel, you know, fast enough, but not overwhelming by any means or feeling like you're out of control at any time. Um, other than that, the bike felt great uh, overall and we're, uh, you know, safe today and want to thank Cowie for letting us come out and try it and hope to see you guys next time.